web client for Dynamics Nav 2017, filtering is a really powerful tool to help me find the information that I want to work with quickly and easily. So for example, if I jump onto the customers list page, and then I want to give myself a bit more screen room to work with, so I double click to minimize the ribbon, I'll collapse the fact box pane and switch into a list view. Now I'm ready to filter these records down to work with just a few select records. I'm going to click a column, to activate the drop-down menu and choose filter. Now this means I'm going to filter by this particular column and it'll only show me lines where location code is and I can click the assist edit here to have a list of the possible values. I could just type it in but actually this way I know I'm getting the right spelling for example of the various values that could be entered. So I want to see just the blue warehouse, say OK and now I'm seeing a filtered list of just the customer records that are assigned to the blue location, the blue warehouse. I can see that the filters applied to that column by the funnel symbol in the column header. If I want to go further and maybe filter this down to just a particular salesperson as well, I can click that column involved, go to filter, use this list edit again and choose just the salesperson I want to work with, so in this case just John Roberts say OK and my records are now filtered by two pieces of information the location code and the salesperson code. I can continue adding filters as long as it makes sense within my information. I might also want to then continue by applying a sort to these records so I could perhaps just sort by name. So we've now got filtered by two values and sorted by the name ascending. When I leave the page, so perhaps I return to my home, my role centre if I return to this customer's page, the filters and the sort have been cleared. If I construct a set of filters that will be useful for me time and time again, what I can do is save this as a view using a Windows client, and then I can access that within the web client as part of my navigation pane. There is a video in this playlist that shows that to you in more detail. If I swap to my sales orders, so here on the sales orders list page, I may want to filter by numeric values and perhaps use some basic filtering terms and basic formulas. So I would like to filter these records to show just ones that have an amount of a certain level. So if I scroll across and find the amount column and I click its drop down menu and choose filter. In here I might want to use the symbol for greater than and then say I want to see the orders that are above £2,000. Say OK and now these are filtered just to ones above £2,000. The records would make much more sense to me if I also sort them. So perhaps a sort ascending, here we go. 2000 well, above 2000 up to 125000 I can click to clear my filter. And now the sort remains, but all the records are visible. If I want to show a range, so it's between certain values, I can do this quickly and easily. If I go to filter, so perhaps I want to show all the orders that are greater than a thousand pounds and that are less than two thousand pounds. Say OK. And here we go, here's my orders ranging from one thousand up to two thousand. Again, the document that accompanies this course has some specific advice in the appendices on using filters within your work in NAV. If I clear this filter, I might want to work with, for example, just orders that were shipped on a certain date or between certain dates. So if I find shipment date as a column and I select its filter, here to do a date range, I can indicate that I want to see just the orders that were from the 1st of January 2018 and the two dots to show it's a range and I want to see up until the end of January 2018. So 1st of January 2018 to the 31st of January 2018, say OK. And again if I perhaps sort those so they're in order it becomes clearer, I've got the 11th of January through to the 31st of January. I could of course then apply further filters if I wish to, to maybe show just the orders for a particular customer. 
either typing in directly or choosing the customer from the list. So this is the orders within January for customer 10,000. Each filter is removed in turn when I wish to, so I can remove the filter for the dates, and then I need to remove the filter for the customers. Or simply leaving the page would remove all these filters.